Today, uh, the President is focused on fulfilling one of his most uh, significant campaign promises to the American people by making America safe again, by taking steps to secure our borders and improve immigration enforcement inside the United States. The President intends to sign two executive orders after observing the swearing in of Secretary, uh, of, Security, Secretary of Homeland Security Kelly. Uh, the first order is the Border Security and Immigration Enforcement Improvements. Uh, it addresses long overdue border security issues, and it's the first order of order of in that will be to build a large, large physical barrier on the southern border. Building this barrier is more than just a campaign promise. It's a common sense first step to really securing our poorest border. This will stem the flow of drugs, crime, illegal immigration into the United States. And yes, one way or another, as the President has said before, Mexico will pay for it. The executive order also provides the dedicated men and women of the Department of Homeland Security with the tools they need, the tools and the resources they need to stop illegal, illegal immigration from the United, entering the United States. Under the Constitution, the American people get the final say who can and cannot enter our nation, and they've spoken loud and clearly through our laws. We're going to create more detention space for illegal immigrants along the southern border to make it easier and cheaper to detain them and return them to their country of origin. We're going to end the last administration's dangerous catch and release policy, which has led to the deaths of many Americans. We're going to once again prioritize the prosecution and deportation of illegal immigrants who have also otherwise violated our laws. And after these criminals spend time in prison for the crimes that they've committed, they're going to get back one-way tickets to the country of their origin, and their governments are going to take them back. The second executive order, enhancing public safety in the interior of the United States, addresses the enforcement of our immigration laws in the United States and returns the power and responsibility to the dedicated men and women of the Department of Homeland Security's Immigration and Custom Enforcement to help them enforce the law. These men and women want to enforce the law and we're going to help them do that. Federal agencies are going to unapologetically enforce the law, no ifs, ands, or buts. We're going to, kind of we're going to restore the popular and successful Secure Communities Program, which will help ICE agents target illegal immigrants for removal. The State Department is going to withhold visas and use other tools to make sure countries accept and return the criminals that came from their country. We'll ensure that these countries take those individuals back, and we're going to strip federal grant money from the sanctuary states and cities that harbor illegal immigrants. The American people are no longer going to have to be forced to subsidize this disregard for our laws. Reforming our immigration system has been at the top of President Trump's priorities since he announced his candidacy. Now, in just the final first week, or excuse me, just in the first week, we're not there yet, of his presidency, the last administration uh, will enforce the rule of law and restore value to the American citizenship, our greatest asset in the 21st century.